next guest is Dr. Dr. Michio Kaku. He's a world famous quantum physicist, a futurist, and basically an all round cosmic brain box. And in this universe, at least, <laughs> he's also our next guest. Green on, Captain. Planet hunters look for other planets. Amateurs, physicist Michio Kaku hunts for other universes. He shocked the world while still in high school after he built a particle accelerator in his mum's garage. Later, he helped come up with string theory, which is basically everything is made of string and parallel dimensions could be the real deal. Hey, the maths checks out. You know, as far as I can tell. An expert on life, the universe and everything, Michio is a media go-to on black holes, time travel and aliens. Now firmly in this dimension, he's looking into how humans will be able to establish civilizations in space. It's such an honour to have you here, Michio. Welcome. Um, we could literally talk to you about anything I'm sure uh, but for the purposes of tonight the book is the future of humanity uh, how seriously should we be taking moving to live on other planets well you know the dinosaurs did not have a space program Idiots. and that's why they're not here today <laughs> there are no dinosaurs in the studio because they didn't have a space program but we do and prices have been dropping like a rock you realize that the movie The Martian starring Matt Damon, that. that movie cost $100 million, but the Indians sent a probe to Mars for $70 million. Mm -hmm. So a Hollywood movie about going to Mars costs more than actually going to Mars. <laughs> Are we helping with that? Rocket Labs, our own, our own space program, they're quite cheap. Yeah, they want to be part of it. Look, there's going to be a bandwagon effect. Silicon Valley billionaires are, are coming into the game now. They're opening up their checkbooks and paying for it with their own money. Spaceships to the moon. You realize that our grandkids could perhaps honeymoon on the moon? <laughs> that's how close the moon is going to be in the coming decades. So you mentioned money, that's one <clears throat> issue. I mean, is it just a matter of money or is there a technological breakthrough we need to get to places like Mars and colonize them? There are no big breakthroughs other than the question of safety, because we want to make sure that we get our astronauts to the Mars safely. But in terms of robots, we've already been to Mars with robots. So just a question of hardware to keep life support vital, to make sure they don't get sick, there's no accidents. But the basic physics of it have been worked out. It's done. Okay. We've been there. Okay, well... Um for research, I watched a documentary uh, about this sort of thing. You might have heard about it. It's called Armageddon. <laughs> and the basic scenario is an asteroid is coming towards Earth as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we do? How do we get away? And is our best bet going to the moon? Well, we don't rely on Bruce Willis to help us. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard well, I, I do. For, <laughs> but, yeah, you, you don't, obviously. <laughs> However, it's inevitable that one day we will be hit. We will be hit by a, another rock from outer space. And that's why we need a backup plan. That's why my colleague Stephen Hawking, the late physicist, he said we need a backup plan, an insurance policy, plan B, just in case global warming gets out of hand, just in case there's a nuclear war, just in case a rock from outer space really ruins your day by landing in your backyard. And so I think it's a good thing that we have a backup plan. But what is the backup plan? We're going to have a settlement on Mars by the 2030s. Whoa. So starting next year, we're going back to the moon. It's now official American policy. By December of next year, we're going to circle around the moon with an unmanned space capsule. By 2023, humans are going back to the moon after a 50-year gap. And then after that, we're going to go on to Mars. All right. Hey, um, cool. lovely to have you in the country. Dr. Michio Okaku is appearing in Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch this week talking about this book, which is out now. And you can win tickets on our Facebook page, by the way. For now, though, please just thank Dr. Michio Okaku. Thank you.